Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some really amazing iPhone apps that you probably never heard of. These are apps that have recently been released, most of them in the past few weeks or even months. These are apps that are actually very useful. A few of them are fun apps as well, so I believe you must have these apps on your device in 2020. So let's get started with the first one. Kicking things off with activity status. Now this one is actually really interesting. If you have an Apple Watch, you know that it will track your activity. Everything from your workout, your running and walking distance, your calories burned, everything will be tracked. And if you have activity status installed, then it will show you the totals of your activity since day one when you started wearing an Apple Watch and tracking your activity. So at the top of the app, you will see the date when you started wearing an Apple Watch and tracking the activity. And then lower here, we'll see the total numbers since that day to today. So everything from the calories to the steps, to the walking and running distance, your exercises, everything will be right here. Now the app is very simple. You will see here all the different details, all the totals, and then right here we'll have a button that lets you change from kilometers to miles. And then if you go to the share button, you will have the option to save this as a picture. If you wanna basically share it somewhere, just tap on save right there and it will be saved to the camera roll of your device. Exif is the next app for the video. This app will show you all the details you need to know about a picture. It also shows you the location where the picture was taken. And what's really awesome is that it also allows you to change the location of the picture. So you can choose any location you want and set it as the location where that picture was taken. So once you load a picture from the camera roll, you will see here all the details from the size of the picture to the day and the time it was taken. Then here it will show you the type of the camera which was, was taken and then lower here we'll see all the different details regarding that picture. Now you can actually edit some of these. You can change the date and the time when the picture was taken. Just tap right here on this button that says exit. And you can also remove all the data if you want from a picture. So all the metadata from a picture can be removed. You can also tap on edit right there and you can change the time of the picture right there, change the camera maker as well. Now, if we go back, then right here we'll find location. So what you need to do here is just search for any location you want and set it as the location of that picture. So just tap on edit location and you search for any location you want. You tap the save button, just wait here, tap modify, and now you're good to go. You will have the location of that picture changed to any location that you pick as easy as that. Next up, we have an app called Ringtones. Now this one allows you to create ringtones for your device. You can create custom ringtones out of any song that you have on your device or just pick any from the library here and set it as a ringtone for your device. Of course, you don't need to use a computer, but what you need is GarageBand and you will need that app only for the share part, only for the end of this process. So right here on the home screen, you can discover like different basically ringtones that ha they have featured here and you can use any of them and set it as the ringtone on your device you have here different categories which you can choose from and of course just use them on your device and if you tap the plus button then here will have the option to load any of your files so just tap on the files right there and you will be able to load any song that you have downloaded on the files app now once you have done that you will have these buttons here to adjust the song so basically you will have to choose 30 seconds which is the max length of a ringtone on iOS. Then you can drag this and basically just place it anywhere you want where you want to start and end the ringtone. Now, once you have done that, you click on the save button and you just enter a name here. Once you enter the name and you click save, it will show here on the button that says mine. Right here will have all the ringtones that you have saved. Now you just tap on one of them and right here tap on make. Once you tap on make, it will show you the share sheet and this is when you need garage band. So all you need to do is just find garage band here, tap right there and now it will open it on garage band. Now once it opens it on garage band, all you need to do is just 3D touch on it and tap the share button and tap on ringtone, click continue, and just go ahead, change the name if you want to, click export, and you're good to go. You will have a new ringtone for your device, a custom ringtone out of any song you want. And then all you have to do is just go to the settings, go to the ringtone section, and set it as a ringtone for your device. 
The next app for the video is called PixQ. It allows you to stitch screenshots as well as other pictures together. So once you install the app and you open it, it will show you your pictures right here. You can go ahead and pick your pictures which you want to stitch together. So you can pick basically here as many pictures as you want and choose vertical or horizontal. So you will have to choose which way you want to stitch them together. So let's go with vertical right there. And here I have two screenshots that I took that I have stitched together. Now, if I just tap that button right there, I can go ahead and basically edit these, just choose how I want to stitch them and when I want to crop them. And you can tap that little crop button right there and you can crop these basically right here. So very, very easy to use and you can just go ahead and crop them just adjust them any way you like. Now the basic features, these that I just showed you guys are free. There are some paid ones which you'll have to pay for $1.99 and that's a one-time payment. If you tap on tools right there, then this is where you will find those really cool features, but that they are paid. So right here, if I just go ahead and tap on that button, I can go ahead and add like a mock-up of an iPhone right here. So you can see I can place one of my pictures on this mock-up. And here I have two that looks really, really funny. And you will have other options as well here to go ahead and just basically mock up your screenshots, make it look really, really cool. Function Calculator is a must-have app for your device. It is free and it is actually very, very useful. Now, when taking a first look at it, it might look just like a simple calculator, but it has so many features. Now, right here, we have just the standard calculator. If you tap right there, then you can go ahead and switch to different stuff, different formulas right here, different conversions as well. So you can convert anything from currency to weight, to temperature, to volume, to force, everything can be converted. So let's just go to one of them. You can see right here, I can choose anything and I can just go ahead and convert them. So I can choose kilometers right there and just choose anything here. So let's go with millimeter and just tap on the select button. Now here, all I have to do is just enter like, let's say eight kilometers, tap enter, and it shows me here the millimeters. Everything can be converted with this, and it's also just a calculator app, but with all these all the cool functions. The next app for the video is called Live Wallpapers, and this one is really cool. It has some really, really amazing live wallpapers that you can get for your device. These are like wallpapers that have that 3D look that are actually really, really awesome. Now you will have a free version and a paid version. Of course, some of the wallpapers will be free, some will be paid. So if you just tap on one of them, you can see the preview right here. They really, really cool and they will look awesome on your device. Now for the free wallpapers, you will have to watch a five second video. So you just tap the save button right there and you will be able to download it or watch a video. You will see that sometimes it actually will ask you to watch a video, sometimes not. So you will find some really, really beautiful wallpapers that you won't find anywhere else on this app. Really cool. They make your device look really, really different. Logo Maker is the next app for the video. So you need a logo for your website, maybe your channel or your social media, then this app allows you to create that for free. And it is very simple to use. You tap the plus button and you will have here the space where you can basically design your logo. You can change the background color right here and you can go ahead and choose like a shape here. So if I tap right there, I can have here different shapes that I can use for a logo. So let's just go ahead and pick one of these. So let's just go ahead and go with that one. And of course, I can change the size right here. I can resize it. I can place it anywhere I want. And of course, I can change the color as well. So that's cool. Tap right there to add text. Just tap on add text and you can add here anything you want. So let's just add I reviews. Okay, I can change the font from here and I can also change the color of the text. So let's just choose one here and tap the check mark. Now I can have that text right here. Of course, I can resize it and place it anywhere I want. And this is how I just created a logo in like seconds with this cool and free app. Now, once you're done, you tap the save button right there at the top and you can go ahead and save this as an image on the camera roll of your device. And last but not least is a fun app called Let It. 
Now this one is really, really cool. It allows you to send like a message to someone with this LED lights. It's really awesome. So what you have to do is just go ahead and pick one of the fonts. The two first ones will be free. The other ones are paid. Then right here, you can change the color and you can see all the buttons will basically reflect that color that you're about to use. And you can change the speed of the message right here and you can zoom in and out. You have two different shapes, you can invert colors and then you have the vibration and the repeat option as well. Then you add your message right here and then you tap the play button and it will basically play that message. Now this will look even better if you just place it on the horizontal mode right here. It looks really, really cool. Now you can also save this and it will be saved as a GIF file. So you tap the share button and then you will be able to save this to the camera roll as a GIF file. And when you send it to someone, it will just basically show like that. It will play like that. It won't just show like a static picture. So that is it for this video guys. These are some really awesome apps that I believe you should have on your device in 2020. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys on the next one.